A strange chain of events landed a woman in jail. Police say that she took a Scott County ambulance on a joyride while its crew was eating at the restaurant where she worked. 31-year-old Tara Hughes now faces many charges, and police say she even made an unusual stop while in the ambulance. Mike Linden has the story. Just after 6.30 Thursday night, a Georgetown Scott County EMS crew stopped for a bite to eat at the Wendy's on Paris Pike. When the crew finished eating and came outside, their ambulance was gone. First thought that came to my mind was somebody had pranked us, that one of the other departments had pranked us. Georgetown police say 31-year-old Wendy's employee Tara Ann Hughes walked out of the restaurant and drove the ambulance away. She had been uh, asked to leave for the day. Uh, according to the manager who spoke to our officers, they suspected that she was uh, under the influence of some sort of narcotics or alcohol. Of course, they put it high. Captain Swanigan says Hughes drove to the Bluegrass Liquor Box on Lawson Drive and tried to buy alcohol from the drive through window. Police say when they finally arrested Hughes, her blood alcohol content measured in at .22. That's almost two and a half times over the legal limit to drive. After causing damage to the liquor box drive through awning, Hughes was arrested in the Marathon gas station on Connector Road across the street. Police say Hughes drove the ambulance about three miles from the Wendy's and was on the road for about 30 minutes. During the process of, I guess, being in the ambulance, there was some radio traffic going on, and she was actually on the radio system talking, talking back and forth to our dispatchers via the ambulance's radio system. So, I mean, just, it's one of, those, one of those calls. I mean, it's so strange. Hughes is charged with first-degree theft, criminal mischief, driving under the influence, and use of a radio that sends or receives police messages. Remarkably, the ambulance was not damaged and no one was hurt. In Scott County, Mike Linden, WKYT. Well, in case you're wondering, the EMS director says that ambulances are left running to keep them cool in case a patient is brought on board. In this particular case, he says the remote lock to the ambulance malfunctioned and the vehicle was left unlocked in the Wendy's parking lot.